What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here, and today, this is going to be something that's a little different, but kind of the same, but it's one of those where I got a request, let's call it that. Young man, he actually had, you know, sent me a little message. He said, hey, you were charged with free goat in Georgia. You won your case. How would you defend Young Thug? I thought that was a great, you know, question to ask, as well as, you know what? Let's get into it. Hit the intro. Well, for those of you that don't know, October 25th, 2012 is the date, and I think it's like 104 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I sat first chair and I was acquitted, along with two of my brothers, of Rico charges in Atlanta. Now, many of you guys that are Young Thug fans, you are watching it, or in this case, Jeffrey Lamar Williams. He was facing, well, he is facing two top counts. Now, understand their, their difference because, again, my two top counts were RICO, which was the violation itself, and the conspiracy to commit RICO. But there were 108 actual counts. Young Thug is facing two top counts of conspiracy to violate RICO, which is RICO, and participation in gang activity. Now, the reason why that's important, you know, it's for another video for the most part. But, racketeering influence corrupt organization is the actual statute or thing that's encompassing Jeffrey Lamar Williams or Young Thug. Now, what they're trying to initiate with the the gang life, just to give you a little background on it before I go into the defense mode of it, is Young Thug is got people that follow him that go by YSL or Young Slime Life. And one of the things that I noticed was the simple fact that they're looking at connecting Young Thug as a gang member based on text messages and kind of song lyrics that were not, that were kind of baseless. It's called it basically rap entertainment for the most part. And I think they're reaching on that one. But those are the things that are kind of connecting them. Now what has happened is Young Thug back in 2017 was arrested. Um, I don't even understand if they were actually DEA agents or what have you, but it says the Cap County stopped him near the Brookhaven. Well, Brookhaven police stopped him near the private airfield. You know, most of you guys that are in Atlanta or know from Atlanta know where that is. And in the car, he was stopped with dope guns and money. Now, most of you that are not familiar with Rico. Those are the trifectas of RICO. Now, the reason why this case is important because in 2017, the initial stop was based on window tint. The police overstretched by going in and actually searching the car because based on getting a search warrant, a probable cause cannot come from dark tint. So therefore, they would need consent, which the cop never asked for. So the case was originally thrown out. Because the prosecutor failed to present credible evidence, the vehicles violating the law at the time of stuff. Because a tent violation is not a crime. Now, the reason Young Thug, again, 
he's connected with one of the guys that they are saying is a gang leader or a gang member based on YSL, which again, Young Slime Life. And these communications that Young Thug has had with him, and they're only using two. Keep in mind, Young Thug is from Atlanta. This young man that they have in question is from Atlanta, so they grew up together. So it's not uncommon for someone with a little bit of money to be in contact with someone from the old neighborhood, because that's a crime. There are several people that know me from the neighborhood that I grew up together with, and they are somewhat famous. They are in movies. And, and you know, I can go through a whole litany of things, but at the end of the day, doesn't change the facts that just because we know each other and we text each other every now and then doesn't mean that we're in cahoots with anything. Now, but what has happened is the DeKalb County, or excuse me, the Fulton County District Attorney is working with the feds and they have appealed and reopened this 2017 case. Now, they're trying to use it because again, drugs, guns, and money, the trifecta for Rico. They don't have that unless they can convict one of the guys that's in the car of having it. Now, at the time, the young man that was driving the car for Thug accepted all of the stuff that they found as his. Again, shielding young Thug. But they're also using that because, again, that young man as well is under the same RICO and gang allegations. Now, let's get to the data gritty. What's one of the things that I would use based on defending Young Thug? One of the things that's easy is basically you drop your internet address, but then you note a very detailed discovery because not only do you want the other um, defendants in this matter but you also want the warrants that they have for the arrest for the searches you want everything that's possibly available to you for putting up this defense why because again they're not trained to do it the right way there's going to be something that's left out or, remember, the warrant application must be specific because that is what they're using as probable cause. Ninety percent of the time, those applications will be vague, therefore voiding out the warrant. The warrant itself will be vague because it has to ask for specific persons, specific places to be searched, and searching for specific items. One of those things will be left out. So those are the things that you would attack. And then I would also go and do what they would call a Brady list on the officers that are involved. Basically, this is information that will be directly impeaching the officers based on their prior history. Have they ever had a bad search? Have they ever claimed someone did something that didn't? Have they ever filed for a bad warrant? And then I would do something that one of the other defendants did and was damn near successful at it, was file a motion for speedy trial. The reason being is because right before the bond hearing, you heard them speak about that they're going to try to drag this along. They're possibly going to drag it out for a couple of years. The reason they would do that is to force someone to take a deal. Yes, that's exactly a prosecutorial tactic. Now, how you weaponize and stop the foolishness is you file all the proper paperwork, you send out all the subpoenas, you go ahead and you put pressure on them to get you the stuff, which Georgia says they have 14 days to give you once you file your entry of appearance and they know where to send it to, whether you ask for it or not. And with a motion for speedy trial because everyone has the right to a speedy and public trial does not give them a right to just hold him in jail because he has been held without bond. The reason you use that to weaponize it 
is because it attaches double jeopardy to all of the allegations. If you don't get one, generally you're going to lose them all. That's one of the things that I would actually do. Now, it will probably go deeper in the thug's pocket because that's what this is about, going after his livelihood. So, if you were ever wondering, these are some of the things I talk about when I'm saying weaponize your defense. You have to understand and pay attention not only to what's being said, but what's not being said. And even what is being said and how they're saying it. When they say they're going to delay this for years, they don't have any evidence linking all of these guys together. They don't have direct evidence that this is actually a game, even in the context of a press conference. The district attorney stated they did not have definitive evidence that any of these guys were in a game, other than the fact that all of them had tattoos. But we know because of California's or L.A. County's little mishap that having tattoos that are very similar or alike does not make it a game. And what's good for the goose is good for the game. So I have more stuff coming. I want you guys to be on the lookout because I got a few things dropping very, 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 very soon. So spring out and keep supporting the channel.